Hey there guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use icons to visualize a process flow and make it easy and quick for your audience to understand. You can also use this diagram to simplify your onboarding process, visualize a workflow cycle or explaining a customer experience map to your stakeholders. Without further ado, let's jump right into the steps. First step, we're going to create the outline of your diagram. Simple, type the keyword circle under graphics, shapes and icons, and you will be provided with 100 choices of circles. For this visual, I will use the outlined circle and place it right in the center of the block. Next up, let's work on the bullet points. We're going to place a smaller circle and a bigger circle on top of each other. Change the color of the bigger circle at the back to the same color as the background and create the illusion of an outlined bullet point. We can enlarge the size of the circle at the back to have a thicker outline, otherwise reduce the size to give it a thin outline. We want to create a pair of bullet points that we can easily duplicate. To do that, press Alt key while dragging the group icons and place them right at the opposite side of the outline. Easy, right? Now that we have a pair of bullet points, we can start populating based on the numbers of steps. Here, we have a 10 step process. You want to group the pair together so that you can move them around easily. Simply copy and paste the pair of bullet points and rotate them slightly. You need to repeat this process three more times. And with that, we have the skeleton of the diagram ready. Now let's move on to the title. We want to include some information about the process we are describing such as the name, short description and the cycle duration. To start, simply choose a text box on the left tab. Type or copy and paste your text into the text box. In this case, I have already decided on the font to use and it's called Bungie font. I will set the font size to 50 and letter space into 8. You can choose from the big collection of font in Pictochart available to use for free. Or, if you have your own branding fonts, you can also upload them to your brand asset settings and use them in Pictochar. Use a smaller font to create a balanced contrast with the big font above it. We highly recommend readable fonts like Kavin, Archivo or Carla for the subtitle. Last but not least, the cycle period. Because it's pretty important information, I would love to highlight it by putting it in a rounded rectangle. To do so, we can obtain the rounded rectangle from graphics, shapes and icons. Search for the keyword rounded rectangle and choose from the available options. Next, we're going to place a text box on top of the rounded rectangle and change the color to white. Looks good, and we are done with the title. Next step, the fun part. It's time to add some icons and visualize the step-by-step -step process. We're going to search for the icons that best suit your process and we're going to do it for each bullet point. It might sound tedious, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty easy and fast. And the first step is document daily. The keyword here is document. Let's find a document icon, place it here, and scale it down a little. To increase the color contrast, we're going to add a white color circle behind the icon itself. I'm pretty happy with the icon size and placement. Now let's add the text. To keep the font size consistent, I will copy the subtitle text box. Set the text alignment to left, place the text box to the right side of the icon and change the text to document daily. With that, we are done with the first set of icons. Easy, right? What we are going to do next is to duplicate this set of icons and place them in each bullet point. And then I customize the icons into different icons that best describe each step.
Lastly, let's add the direction of reading. In this case, it's clockwise. To do it easily, I would duplicate the group object we created earlier and change the text to start. To indicate the direction, I would add a triangle pointing to the right and regroup the object. To complete it, I would add a dash outline circle and use the alignment tool to align it with the inner circle and change the color to white. Voila! This is the end outcome. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Now you can create your own diagram and visualize your process using icons. As always, happy picture charging.